Well, good morning, everybody. I come up to a school today. I'm going to be seeing about some permissions I've been working on for about a month now at some 1930 home sites later on this afternoon. But today I'm going to be hunting up here on this little schoolyard. It's supposed to be a beautiful day in the mid 70s and sunny. I've got this place all to myself. As y'all can see, this school is fenced off. But just because it's fenced off, don't mean it's a no. All you got to do is talk to the right people and get them to leave one gate open for you and you can hunt places most people don't get to hunt. Anyways, I'm gonna get started up here. I got this all to myself. I'm gonna see what I can find and I'll get back to you in a little while. Well, my first interesting find, working these tot lots first, of course. These come in at a 63, 64. Well, it sure gets you excited when you see a gold color. Got a bunch of pretty little stones on it. We'll see if it's anything later. It's a pretty good way to start out the day. See what else is out here. Well, check this one out in the top lot. A 9091. What in the world could that be? Just a quarter? Come on, that dude is coming in awful high to be just an old 1979 quarter. I guess that's what it was. <laughs> On to the next. Well, here's the next one 8990. I don't know if this nail coil likes to ring things a point or two higher when it's really wet. Those quarters usually come in 86, 87. Let's see if this is a quarter. I bet it is. Yep. That one just likes to ring them a little bit higher. I gotta use those little higher tones. Anyways, let's keep going. Well, I have one here coming in at 72, 73. I'm not quite sure what I got. some kind of skull looking at me. I don't know what that was. I do believe that was probably a junker ring at one time that has been folded all up. See where it broke there and there's the other end of it. Yep, that's a little junker ring. What a skull. <laughs> uh oh. We did get a little mangled up junk ring today. Like it got hit by the lawnmower a time or two. Finally found something besides a few coins and dozens of pull tabs. Keep going. Well, I was working around a little old set of bleachers down here by a practice football field. Had one here coming in at 72. I might have got me another piece of bling. Ooh, got an eyeball staring at me. 
It's definitely going to be bling. You can see the copper showing all the way around it, but that's pretty cool. I'll work around down here a little bit, see what I can find. I'll come over to the back side of the school. You see these old bleachers here. I don't even use this part back here anymore. I had a 70, and I got me a piece of a harmonica reed. If I can find anything else back here in this older part. How many of you know what that is? I'm sure if you're from Texas, you know what it is. We call them horse apples. You see one growing right up there on that tree. An old boat arc tree. I don't know of anything they're good for. I think some people eat them, but I don't think I'm going to eat one of them. Anyways, let's keep going. We we'll had one here coming in at 62 to 65. I think it's going to be an earring. A junker, because you can see the rust on it. But anyways, an earring. Moved up to the front of the school. Work up here a little bit before I call it a day. So what else I can find? Well, I was working around this little bench here. You can see seniors class of 1984 and 85. Almost my class. Dug a quarter there coming in, 88.90. I had one here coming in, 88.90. I don't think that one's going to be a quarter. Woohoo! Finally found another little ring. Been all over this place today, but finally found one. I guess I should have started here first instead of last. I don't see any hallmarks in it at the moment, but I'll get it cleaned up. I'm going to go on around this tree here. See if there's anything else here. The well, last target of the day. Eighty-eight to ninety. Probably gonna be a shallow quarter. Wait, that coil likes to ring them up a little bit higher. There it is. Shell a quarter. Now we'll see y'all at the wrap up. Hey everybody, we're going to do a wrap up for today's hunt. I went up to a school today. It was an absolutely gorgeous day. Getting a little breezy now, but 72 degrees and sunny. Gotta love it. Anyways, you can see what I found up there at the school today. Your typical suspects. Plenty of pull tabs and pencil erasers and screws and nuts and bolts. And got me a golf ball. Anytime I get around those bleachers, I get some of those clamps every time. Got a zipper pull and a grommet. I'm pretty good on the clad today. I got 550 and quarters, uh, four nickels, 90 and dimes, and of course, always my stack of pennies. Got me a bling earring. You can see it's rusting all to pieces. But another earring. And way back in the back by those old set of bleachers, there's just not much left back there, but I did find a piece of a harmonica reed. Got this little piece of bling here. I guess that's the all C and I. <laughs> it is just bling. Now this one here. I don't know if that one's going to be gold or whether that's just bling. I'm going to have to get that one tested when I get it home. There's no markings on it, but none of it's flaking off, and it looks in really good shape and kind of heavy. Like I said, I'll have to get that one tested, acid tested when I get it home. It looks pretty. The markings may have been on whatever it was attached to. I don't know. I'll have to check that one out. But I did get two rings today. As you can see, this one here has been hit by the lawnmower and tore in half, but... It is a ring. It looks like a little pewter skull ring. But it counts. And I did get me one little silver ring over there by that bench at the front of the school. And it's got a real weak marking in there. It says 925. So I did get me a silver one today. Anyways, I got to talk to that guy about those permissions. And I, did, I got permission to hunt them. And what it is, it's going to be almost five acres. There used to be three houses on it. 
that were built in the 1930s. Two of the houses are gone now. One burnt down and one was moved. And one's still standing there. They're going to tear it down eventually. But anyways, I'm kind of excited about going over and checking those out on my next hunt. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next.